What's up, YouTube? Psionic Kevin here. If you've been playing Valorant recently, you probably know about the new deathmatch mode. This free-for-all deathmatch mode seemed pretty fun at its core. However, there are still many important changes that can be made to make this game mode much better. Before we get started with the video, you can follow me on Twitch and the social links down below. I also talk a lot about important changes that will benefit the competitive scene in Valorant on my Twitter, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can follow me there as well. Now, Valiant's new free-for-all deathmatch mode has a kill incentive, which is to be the first person to get to 30 kills, or the, the most kills within the 10-minute time limit. Now, it's important to understand what the goal of deathmatch is. The current iteration of this deathmatch mode involves running over the enemy bodies that you've killed in order to heal and reload your gun instantly. You'll also notice as you play this mode that there is a UAV or basically something that reveals where the enemies are every few seconds on your radar. Every time you die, you have to wait two and a half seconds before you can respawn in. And it seems like there's more downtime than necessary. You also can't choose what map you queue into for this mode, so certain maps will favor certain weapons more. Some of the maps are just terrible for deathmatch as well. You'll notice that because of these settings and the kill incentive, while also trying to deny kills from other people, people will play very campy and just hold angles instead of playing an aggressive playstyle and just running around holding W trying to get as many kills as possible. <laughs> now, if this is what the devs wanted, this is fine. And I think the following changes will make it a much better game mode. Instead of having pickups, just add an instant reload and heal off of each kill. Reduce the spawn timer every time you die from 2.5 seconds to 1. Remove the UAV since it promotes a camping playstyle. Allow players to pick which maps they're okay with queuing for deathmatch and potentially add dedicated deathmatch maps in the future. Have a vote option before each game starts for the DM mode. So for example, have pistol light armor variants, uh, rifle only variants, headshot only modes, and many others like that. And last but not least, since it's a 10 player free for all, limit the op to one person per server. Obviously we know the op is very oppressive and it's just super boring, especially with the UAV. And the kill incentive will encourage people just to hold angles and watch paint dry. I'm all right with having one op on the server because if people don't want to fight the op, then the opera will have to develop a more aggressive playstyle, which is healthy for the playstyle of this game mode. If multiple people on the server want to opt, then there should be a separate queue for that. Now the other important function of Deathmatch, which is more traditional to Counter-Strike, is just having a server where players can just hop in and leave whenever they want, and just practice fragging out without having to worry about dying as many times as they want until they feel comfortable. It's very standard for competitive players to just load into these servers and just go for 500 to 1000 kills before queuing up for a match. The idea is that you just force everyone on the server to play an aggressive playstyle by mostly holding W and just taking a lot of aggressive peaks and hard angles to warm up their aim. Without any kill incentive, this is what allows people to focus on just their individual fragging potential and flicks from multiple targets since there's just so many people shooting each other at the same time. It doesn't matter if you get spawn killed because that's not the objective of the mode. The function of a more traditional deathmatch mode is to just be able to train your muscle memory and allow you to warm up before you play a serious match. With that said, all of the changes that I mentioned earlier to apply to the current free-for-all deathmatch mode also applies to the non-kill incentive version of the traditional deathmatch mode. It would also be really nice to have the ability to go into deathmatch while you're in queue for a competitive match. There's too much downtime in the, the current version of deathmatch. And the playstyle off of the lack of restrictions and uh, game mode types kind of makes it difficult to focus on practicing a certain thing. For example, if I want to practice my Sheriff, I have to go up against people who are peeking off of UAV while holding an angle with an op. It makes it less productive for players who are just trying to warm up in deathmatch as opposed to people who are trying to win deathmatch. And that's just a mentality thing based off of the kill incentive. If these changes are made to the deathmatch mode in Valorant, it would make the game mode much more enjoyable and promote a healthy playstyle for players trying to warm up in this game. It would also be pretty cool if you could apply these custom settings to your own deathmatch if you're doing a custom game. If you have any other ideas or opinions on how to improve the current iteration of deathmatch, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.